It is a special week, one where we honor a specific group of frontline workers. It's CRNA Week, which recognizes nurse anesthesiologists. Mitty Hicks is live in St. Paul tonight with more on this story. That's right. Well, CRNAs are having their skills tested like never before. I mean, this group of men and women are the ones responding to COVID patients barely hanging on to life. In the critical moments between life and death, certified registered nurse anesthetists known as CNRAs are a specialized group that has to move fast. We travel with these backpacks. Inside, equipment because a majority of their job is now getting breathing tubes down airways as COVID patients cling for life. And this is what goes inside the patient's mouth after they've been sedated by us so that we can see the opening of the vocal cords and that's how we place the breathing tube. Very traumatizing on our staff as well for responding. Sometimes we know it might be the last conversation that the patient can ever vocalize. It wasn't always like this. We provide anesthesia care. Uh, to patients over there, uh, inpatients, outpatients, uh, all kinds of different cases, transplants all the way to offsite, uh, MRIs. Many CRNAs were laid off when elective surgery stopped during the pandemic, but with their training in ICUs, they're jumping in as needed to help COVID patients breathe and ready to help in other ways. They're working with the state to help distribute vaccines when supplies are ready. The faster we can do it, you know, the better. And, um, you know, CRNAs are, you know, um, you know, we have the, the skills to, to offer and we're more than happy to offer those skills. And there are about 1,900 CRNAs here statewide. And a spokesperson for the state CRNA group say many remain employed just by stepping up and helping to care for patients in ICUs. Live in St. Paul, Mitty Hicks, Fox 9.